Jacqueline Schultz here with Talent Recap on the virtual red carpet of America's Got Talent. We just saw the first semifinals last night and the show was absolutely incredible. We will be talking to all the contestants today. I want to start with Thomas because okay. I didn't get to start. I didn't get to talk to you, Thomas. You're brand yeah. new to me. But Talent Recap has been talking about you and yeah. about you coming back and skipping a section of the show. And yes. some of them were a little bit upset and they thought it was because you were leaving for football. Football. I don't know if you heard that. You cleared things up yesterday, but is any of that true? Did you go play football? So, so this is what happened. So here's the whole situation. It was really confusing. It's like Cameo got involved as well. Okay. So what initially happened was... I, so my mom had got Corona uh -huh. and I was in my room and I was still negative. So I was like, okay, well, I'm in my room just playing piano, like doing whatever. And um, so I was like tr trying to keep it down low. And my mom was like, Hey, I don't want anybody to know like that I have Corona. And I was like, okay. I was like, what? But she was like, I think you should like tell your fans like what you're going to do. Like you're going to end up going home from this whole situation. So what are you going to do when you go home? I was like, all right, I'm going to play football. She's like, all right. So tell them that. So I was like, okay. So I, my plan was once I was going to go home, I was going to go play football. So I was telling him I was going to go play football. But um, obviously people have like a weird reaction to it. But yeah, I was, um, my mom just really didn't want anybody to know like that she had Corona. She like, she thought it was like almost like embarrassing kind of, I don't even know. She just didn't like the whole fact that she was like, she, like, she was like, I feel like all my friends will feel like I'm a creature. I was like, all right. The, the football thing kind of backfired on you, right? Oh, so yeah. Heavily. Yeah. <laughs> heavily. I was like, wow. You should have just stuck with the coronavirus thing from the start. But how are you guys feeling now? How are you and your mom? Um, we're great. Well, well, here's the thing. At the time, I didn't know if I was allowed to say that I had corona. So, like, I, had, I don't even think I was allowed to say. So, but the truth was that I was going home to play football because that was what I was doing. But my mom didn't want me to say anything. So we, I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad yeah. everything's cleared up. I'm sure no one's going to have a problem with why you skipped the round now. But oh. I heard, we heard last night you play, or you sing Billie Eilish. Yes. You also reference Billie Eilish on your Instagram. You're obviously a big fan of Billie Eilish. Will, we, will we be hearing more of her music from you? More music from her. You know, I've loved, I love the duo of Phineas and Billie Eilish. I think they are... 2020 2019 2018 duo of like the year like I mean I'm a huge fans of them both and they're writing and they're producing it I think it's unbelievable I think they're revolutionary and honestly I would love to do and pursue more of those songs and and honestly do them in my own way try to have them arranged in a different way so I could um it's the right word so I could interpret them as much as I can. <laughs> well, I have a feeling that you will get your chance to sing again. So we'll see if I hope it so. is. We'll see if it's another Billie Eilish song. But I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're feeling well. And thank you so much for talking to us. Of course. Thank you. Yeah. Roberta. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you again. So you sang Pink last night. And I got to ask you is it because it was her birthday? Actually, you know what? That was really unplanned. I love that song in general. I love her. Um, the meaning is like, you know, it can mean so many different ways. And to me, it relates like now in the moments, in the hard moments that we're living in. I mean, will everything go back to normal? How will our future, uh, how will we see our future? Um, even uh, the part that really hits me is uh, when it says we are children that need to be loved. And yes, I really believe that uh, all of us really need to be loved, especially children. And, um, you know, I just find that that was a great song for the semis. And um, I just, I, I love that song. I loved it from the start and I still do. <laughs> I love it too. And you exude confidence. I want to know how, did you feel confident or were you able to just like put all your nerves to the side? What was going on with you last night? Well, um, it was a little, uh, I was a little nervous to see the judges remarks, but, um, for the performance, I wasn't that nervous. I just, 
Um, but other than it felt really good to be back on the stage and meet the judges again, see my performance. It was really exciting. <laughs> Who? This, is, this might be an awkward question because we have Thomas here in the chat with us, but who do you think is your biggest competition, singing-wise? Well, <laughs> everyone's so talented in this competition. Um, you know, everyone's so amazing, so great. Um, I just love everybody. Everyone's, uh, everyone has their t different talents. Um, I, I don't think I can say that because I really don't have a favorite. I've uh, always been like that. I mean, I've never had a favorite. But, um, you know, I think in general, everyone's very talented and I wish everyone can, uh, can win. I really do because everyone deserves to. Hmm. Have you been able to make connections with um, some of the other contestants, even though I know times are a little bit weird and you can't really hang out as much as usual on the other well, seasons? Um, you know what, even though we're social distancing, yes, COVID is kind of bumping in uh, and scooching in our way, but, you know, we've made a lot of friends on AGT, actually, um, you know, our, and that's what I love about being in a competition. It's not that it's a competition. It's like between you and the contestants, you always have to have that friendship and that relationship, um, you know, because especially when everyone's so great. I mean, everyone's so humble. Everyone's so nice there. So you just want to be friends with them. And yes, that has been happening. I mean, I made friends with many contestants, uh, even on in the semis. And it's been just so nice to have uh, that friendship, even in a competition. That's awesome. Well, good luck to you. You are amazing. And we love you as always. Thank you, Jacqueline. Dance Town. Oh, I am excited to talk to you again. I am excited you're back. When you got the call, how were you feeling? <laughs> I think I was the craziest one of all in my in my studio because I go back to AGT many years ago and I know what it takes and I know how hard it is to make it to this point. So when I received that call from product from the producer, I couldn't believe it. We were back in. So I was just screaming, jumping. It was really cool. How much time did you have to rehearse? That is the biggest issue. Um, we, we were very, very affected for time. Also, we are a group of 50 dancers and we, need, we have to rehearse separately. 10 here, 12 over there, eight over there, because of the social distance. So as a choreographer, as the director of the group, has been extremely, extremely difficult. I have never done anything like that. But it was worth it. We did the best we could with the very little time we have. I think you did amazing. Thank you so much for chatting with us and we're crossing our fingers for you. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below and then we can talk.